Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ram. And I'm Noelle McVoy. That was ASAP Adonai on piano. ASAP, what song was that? That is a song called Santa Lucia. Nice. It's a good one. I like that. Nice and light for your Friday morning. Good morning, everyone. We have got some very wonderful ladies on our show this morning. They are part of Word Dance Productions, and they're going to be showing a little taste of what they will be doing at Zootown Fringe Fest tonight, later on this evening. Yep. And hopefully uh, by next week we'll have some footage from Fringe Fest to kind of show you guys what you guys can expect on MCAT Channel 189 for the next month or so. In uh, a just month. programming. <laughs> yeah. Just general programming. Of course, we do have some new programming on tonight, which I'll talk a little bit more about. Uh, and I have some footage of the B-25 bomber oh, that uh, our very own Rick Phillips shot um, just recently. And of course, we have our art clip, which is a brand new art clip. I actually didn't address it last time, which also is at the uh, Historical Museum at Fort Missoula, which follows the old mercantile building that's um, threatened to be demolished and all this stuff. So the Historic Museum at Fort Missoula, I have to say the whole thing, otherwise they <laughs> correct me all the time. They do. You they say, need like a short museum. version. Yeah. Like a historical museum at Fort Missoula, so like H-M-A-F-M? Hefemina. Hefemina. So Hefemina uh, started this um, thing about the mercantile, history of the mercantile, about how it basically was the very first trading post in Missoula, and how it expanded, how it grew, how it basically started a wooden shack, made a brick building, made another brick building, out of the brick building, bigger, bigger, bigger. And, and now, now it's, that brick building is going to become a Marriott. Yeah, now they want to change that old historic building to a, a Marriott hotel. All right, Great. but that's that. Um, so uh, I also watch a little bit of city council. I have nothing to report on. There's nothing really major that's going on. Um, the parks um, and conservation, they were talking about um, expansions and emissions and that kind of stuff about like, and of course, the trees in Missoula is another big topic that's mm -hmm. been going on. It's basically kind of been shoved under the rug so many different times. What's because, going on with the trees? Well, the trees are 20 years <laughs> older than they should be and nobody's really done anything about it. So there's oh. a bunch of trees in Missoula that are basically either dead or dying. Yep, and they're that They're all planted fall. at the same time and their age limit is about 40, 50, 60 years. Mm -hmm. And it's been like 60, 70 years. Oh, okay. And so are they worried about these trees breaking and falling mm -hmm. during storms? Yep. Okay. And the, all these trees are planted basically all over Missoula. So if you ever go up the, one of the mountains, you know, when you're, uh, and then you see all those trees, you say most of them are on the on death's door. <laughs> <laughs> those trees are knocking on death's door. But um, and the door was made out of those trees. But luckily, um, the, the good news. <laughs> let's switch to good news. The weather what? is looking a lot nicer today. Um, yesterday, it, there was a horrible downpour, but there was, it was also really windy. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the wind kind of pushed all the storm just kind of up and clear. Uh, that's what I assume. I'm not a weatherman. <laughs> Anyways, so it's currently 50 degrees outside. Your high is going to be 72, which is amazing. So it's going to be a perfect day. It's going to be breezy, great day to fly a kite. Uh, your low is going to be 46. Saturday is going to be the quintessential perfect day <clears throat> to get out there, do something. So if you have any plans for the weekend, I suggest you do it this weekend. This weekend, before next weekend. Okay. So it's basically going to continue on. It's going to be cooler temperatures. Um, by next week, uh, your high is going to be 79 and all that stuff. So it's just going to be wonderful. Um, Missoula's Roots Festival is happening next weekend. But of course, sure this weekend is. is the Fringe Fest. And um, if you want to know more information about this and that, you can go to zootownfringe.org. Mm -hmm. But of course, if you want to find more information about us, our morning show, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice we made you write it out twice. Uh, you can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on our Facebook page, and to find out more information about us, just check us out at MCAT.org. Yep, MCAT.org is a great resource where you can watch um, new and past programming that's been on our channel. And speaking of programming, we have a couple new programs that I want to highlight. And of course, I produce a show called uh, Look Before You Speak, which is an art appreciation video. It's basically where you get people who write about art, and they basically talk on this little talk show, and they show some art from their favorite artists. Um, they, they never talk about themselves, which is probably one of the best things about this show. Um, but it's um, it, it, this is just an example of some of the art and, of course, the clip from the B-25 World War II bomber. And when we come back, we'll have our guests on. So stay tuned, and we'll be right back after this. Languid brush strokes. You see that smooth line that just melds one into another. Um, 
that is also expressive. Yeah. It's, an, it's expressive of a calmness. Um, and so what is Louise expressing here, you might ask yourself? Um, it's not conflict like Bobby's. It's not wildness or danger. Mm -hmm. It's actually the opposite. It feels very calm to mm -hmm. look at this. And where in, in Bobby's drawing there was a tension between the calmness in the center and the wildness on the outside, this is all calmness. There's mm. very little tension in this painting. The airplane is uh, uh, a B-25J model. Um, it was uh, built in Kansas City at the plant in 1943. It saw service with the 319th Bomb Group off the island of Corsica in uh, 44. 48 years in restoration when uh, Air Base Arizona or the Air Arizona Wing received the airplane. A lot of dedicated, hard-working volunteers did all the work on the airplane and, and uh, we're reaping the benefits now of uh, being able to, to fly this piece of history and, and honor our veterans, current and, and past. Uh, there's about uh, 45 to 50 uh, units nationwide, and we actually have a couple of units that are international. Hello, hey guys. you guys. We are here. We are here with Word Dance Productions. We've got Nan, we have Cindy, and we have got Peggy. Did I do that right? You okay, so thank you. <laughs> but they, these ladies are here from us, here with us from California. They're participating in this week's Zootown Fringe Festival, and they're here to talk to us about their show that airs tonight and tomorrow. So please, ladies, tell us about yourselves. Go Zootown Fringe. Yeah. Of course. We are, we are Beckett, Samuel Beckett, and we are Gertrude Stein together at last. <laughs> even though they only lap, overlap by a couple of years. So if you're familiar with Samuel Beckett, oh, if you're not familiar with Samuel Beckett, uh, seminal playwright, seminal, seminal creative person, changed the face of theater. Um, it, and Gertrude Stein, likewise, changed the face of poetry. Um, and so is, are these two people that have really influenced you guys a lot in your theater lives? Yeah, I'd have to say yeah, 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 yeah. Well, Cindy's know. read every word that Stein has ever, ever written, ever. It's, yes, yeah. and she I'm has. in love with Beckett. <laughs> and I, I did a lot of translation, French of Beckett, and I cried at his grave in Paris. And um, I just love his whole sense of um, his existential humor. And we, all three of us, are in love with language mm -hmm. and music that comes through the language of both of these people. Mm -hmm. And the absurdity of it, too. Yeah. We kind of really like absurd stuff, too. And so that's what you're kind of telling me, is that Beckett was the one that kind of removed, like, the formal plot from theater to, like, absurdity and existentialism. Mm -hmm. Cool. And then, so, what is your show about? That. <laughs> actually, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well oh, said. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like to say, um, that our show is about nothing. I do. But everything. And right? everything, yeah, pretty much. We don't like to, we, we, I don't give voice to that, but it is, it's about nothing. Mm -hmm. It's about nothing. Um, and we love putting, putting nothing out there on, on air, hanging nothing out on the clothesline. Well, out of nothing you can make something, and out of nothing you can add so much meaning to. It's all about how you perceive it. Exactly. I was going to say, and it gives a meaning over to the audience to, mm -hmm. to make, mm -hmm. essentially. We give, we give some hints, we put up some road signs, and uh, you take it. Well, yeah, and there's always some, um, even whenever you see some performances or some movies, where they put, try to put so much into a movie, and you actually take nothing from yeah. it. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And well, both, of the, both of these people were primarily interested in language. So even though the words sound as if they don't make any sense. They used a lot of repetition. The musicality comes to the words, and somehow there's meaning that all of a sudden appears. And the actors just have to have to really embrace the language and let the life flow through them, through the music of the language, and it, and it comes. Well, at least for us it does. And, and <laughs> the music of the, the music. So, because uh, 
Yes. Yeah, so what can people <laughs> expect from you guys' performances tonight and tomorrow night at the Crystal Theater? It's disturbingly funny. It's funny, funnily disturbing. It's funny. It's a little yeah. disturbing. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, you laugh, you cry. <laughs> Do we get angry at all? You might. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, so why is she doing that? That is so stupid. Yeah. And so I know that, Sydney, you guys have an original music score. So, Sydney, were um, you the proprietor of that? The, what we mean by score are I mean, several very, very short musical interludes. Awesome. I'd say. Yes. Awesome. And so where'd you get your inspiration from that? Mostly Stein. Mm -hmm. Mostly Stein. Some Beckett. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I would have to say these two ladies. It was yeah. more of a collaborative effort than just me alone. And so how long did it take you to come up with your show? I started working on it about a year and a half ago. Yeah. So there you go. Yep. I feel like We that's started rehearsing, uh, what, six months ago? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And only in earnest. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one thing Same. that I've heard from other performers from this week is that it takes about a year and a half to really come up with your show and to get yeah. it how you want it and solidify it and then perform it. To feel the rhythm yeah. and to get it in your gut and then just to celebrate it. Yeah, yeah. very true. And we're looking forward to celebrating it in this, front of an audience. This started out because my partner Toby, her absolute favorite theatrical moment is Lucky's speech in Waiting for Gatto. And so for her surprise, for her birthday party, I got Peggy and who loves Beckett, right? And we did, we put that, that, that speech on, I choreographed it and we put that speech on for her party. And, but it turns out that uh, Beckett has really intense copyright laws. You mm. really, you can't, you can't. And, and, and I wanted to base a piece around that because we had so much fun doing it. And, um, and so it couldn't just, it couldn't be Beckett, it couldn't be that, it had to be very transformative. But that is the beginning, really, when we did that little bit for her birthday and I just put it together. And they, they mate so well, even though she was gay and he was... <laughs> I won't go there, I won't go there, but, 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 but they are, you know. Uh, Beckett, yeah, anyway. Yeah. That's awesome. So, um, um, before you guys, uh, just uh, tell us when and where people can watch you guys perform. Crystal Theater tonight and tomorrow night. Um, Crystal Theater 6.30 tonight and 6 o'clock tomorrow. And 6 o'clock tomorrow. And so these ladies have a performance for us, so yep. we're going to go to a short PSA, and then when we come back, these guys are going to give us a taste of what they do. So, oh, you want a great day for me includes a walk outside with my wife. My great day includes reading a good book. A great day for me includes the morning crossword puzzle. My great day includes playing the piano. As you grow older, Missoula Aging Services can help direct your aging journey with a new Options for Better Aging program. Give them a call at 728-7682 to find out more. No matter what you're planning, If you plan to drink, plan to have a friend get you home. Get ride home ideas and tools at plantolive.mt.gov. Sergeant Greg Amison with the Missoula Police Department. I'd like to talk a little bit about bicycles riding on the sidewalks in the city of Missoula, which we see a lot because Missoula is a very bike friendly town. I would just like to let bicyclists know that they do have to yield to pedestrians on the sidewalk safely because they travel faster than a pedestrian, so they do have to do that in a safe manner. And then when you get to a crosswalk, you are actually required to slow your bicycle down to what would be called a pedestrian pace, and you cannot begin crossing until it's safe to do so. Here's your bear spray, babe. I don't... Mm. Mm. Um, no. Um, no. No? No. No? 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 Uh, no sense. No. no. Uh, no sense when. Uh, 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 u
Since when? No. 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 When? 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 No. When? No, 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 a no since when since oh. no, I don't since when, no, oh. when oh, since no, no. When, no. When, no. When, when no, 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 no since when, when, when since, since when, when. When. no, no, since when, no, no, since when, a no since when, no, no, no since, no, 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 no since when, since when, no. No sense when. 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 Your smartphone can help you find a bar, alert your friends that you're in the bar, update you on your team while you're at the bar, and now, let you know you need a ride home from the bar. Hmm, that is smart. Download blood alcohol calculators for your phone at plantolive.mt.gov. I'm Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. I am Montana Hope. For the last 30 years, the Montana Hope Project has been granting wishes to Montana children who face life-threatening illnesses. I'm Montana Hope. To make a donation and help their wishes come true, please visit MontanaHope.org. We are Montana Hope! At Missoula Aging Services, you'll always be greeted with a warm welcome. Whether you are caring for an aging loved one or you're an older adult yourself, our friendly staff is ready to connect you to the help you need. You will always get unbiased advice, a free assessment of your needs, and personalized information about the resources available. See what we can do for you. Call 728-7682 or log on to MissoulaAgingServices.org. Sergeant Greg Amos with the Missoula Police Department. I'd like to talk a little bit about something I see downtown routinely, and that is pedestrians crossing against the pedestrian heads. So I'd just like to explain what is actually legal. You cannot begin crossing in the crosswalk when it's either flashing and in the countdown or solid red. The only time it's legal to begin crossing in that crosswalk is when the white crossing sign is displayed. The, what the countdown is for and the only thing that that's there for is to tell you how much time you have to finish crossing the street, presuming that you started when it was legal to do so. Child abuse is more common in Montana than people may realize. I'm Montana Attorney General Tim Fox. You have the power to report suspected child abuse. Call 1-866-820-KIDS. This message is brought to you by the Montana Attorney General's Office, the Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services and Northwestern Energy. Come on, guys. Rolling? Good. We're hiking in bear country like hey, hey we're guys. back. We are back. We're back with Joe Dvorak. Did I say your last name right? You did. You're okay. amazing. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yay. And so Joe is a gal from Canada. Mm -hmm. She's here with a show for Zootown Fringe Festival called Oh Man. Yes. And so um tell us about your background in theater and comedy. Really minimally. Mm -hmm. uh, I had major stage fear and I applied for a program at Southern Fraser University in Vancouver uh, to write a book. And one of the things I had to do with this program is storytelling, which terrified me. So I decided to try stand-up comedy <laughs> and then started doing storytelling too. And then just, it just, yeah, it's an amazing experience to be able to perform for people live and see the reactions. I'm so addicted to it. Yes. I'm really addicted to it. Stand-up comedy is kind of like storytelling. But it like is, in a short version. So this play is what the book was about, which is um, 
I'm a female-loving feminist. I had some issues with men when I found out I was pregnant with one. And so it was about <laughs> my issues of realizing I'm bringing another man to the world and like looking at what men have done to the world over the last 200,000 years mm -hmm. and you know, what is our future. So it's a comedy, mm -hmm. it's dramatic, it's got mm -hmm. some good like yeah. hard stories. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm really proud of it. That's and awesome. the point was for it to be a book, so it will still end up being a book one day. It's just really fun to do live. And then, so it, is it stand up or is it theater? Uh, I mean, there's some jokes, but it's definitely more storytelling than it is okay. stand up. Um, there's also projections. I had this idea to do um, projections off my dress, so I'm wearing a white dress oh, cool. that has my thoughts being projected onto it. So it's kind of like a multimedia piece. Very it's really fun to do the video editing. I really enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, I bet it is. That's yeah. interesting. And so, uh, what is your son think of all this? Uh, he thinks it's about him. It's not about you, Luke. It's about me. It's such a man thing, right? Uh. Right, Scott? Uh, yeah, everyone's selfish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For your own show. Uh, he's really great. He, That's he, awesome. I dragged him to Montana with me because mm -hmm. he has no choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he's been very lovely. Good, yeah. good. It's nice to have a supporter for, you know, even though your show is kind of like, oh man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Which I think is funny because I hadn't really thought about that when I'm going into venues because I'm like, oh, my show's Oh Man, come see it. And then yeah. they're like, oh, is that the man? And it's yeah. Like, it kind of is. Yeah. yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. He's also 13 now and he's taller than me. And, yeah. you know, blah, blah. So I don't think he will be walking out of the theater. I'll just have him sit down by the door. Yeah. yeah. And so <laughs> tell me, tell us about like your process for coming up with this piece. Because it was a book first. It was going to be a book, And then, yeah. still so, gonna still going to be a book. Yeah. So then, did you, tell me about that. Like, what did you do? Uh, well, I, I kind of saw, there's solo shows. There's a fellow who was in the documentary we saw last night, mm -hmm. uh, TJ Daw, mm -hmm. who's an amazing solo artist. He's like Canada's king of solo shows. And I uh, ended up being friends with him and, and kind of had the idea of like, why don't I try turning this into a solo show? And I've always really liked true stories. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's kind of where it came from. So I just kind of challenged myself to do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's hard, but I love it. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't like having free time. So mm -hmm. it kind of took care of that for me. Mm -hmm. So uh, where do you get your inspiration from? Who uh, guides you? Oh. Good one. That is a good one. I'm not really sure. I think that I just love theater. Like I love live theater and uh, honestly as an audience member sometimes you're like wow I would do it differently. So it's kind of fun to be able to do it on your own. Mm -hmm. Also I love traveling and I love meeting new people. Mm -hmm. So and I love true stories. I love hearing people's stories. Is, is this your first Fringe Fest? Is, this is my first Fringe Fest. Um, this is my first time doing the entire show in its entirety. It's 45 wow. minutes. And uh, I've done 20 minute segments of it, but I haven't done the whole 45. Mm -hmm. so. And so how are you feeling about that? Excited, Good. yeah. Yeah, I only have one show to do. Sa Saturday where at 7.30 at the Crystal. Saturday, so, Saturday at the Crystal. Yeah. And so where can people find out information on you? Uh, they can look at Facebook. We have a page called Oh Man Show. Okay. Uh, or they can come under the crystal, they can see me and shake my hand. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Cool. Do you have maybe a joke for us? Can you give us one joke preview? It's clean for radio. Oh yeah, clean for TV, yeah. Yeah. Um, no. I wish I did. <laughs> I should. I that wish I was that quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll just inspire everyone to come see you. Yeah, well I do have a thing with, because I live in co-op housing, which means that everyone knows each other. Oh, everyone knows each other. Housing, yeah, yeah, and they know, uh, this is in Vancouver. And just crazy Canadians. Crazy Canadians living in cooperative <laughs> lifestyle. Oh! Too much. Oh, it's crazy. We support each other. So whenever I leave, because I, I have a fairly dirty day job, I'm a dog trainer. And so whenever I leave, like, dressed like this, the kids know that I'm going to a show yeah. and they'll come up to me and be like, Joe, say something funny. And my dad will be like, no. And they'll yeah. just run away like this and they all that's laugh That's pretty funny. Really hard. Yeah, so that's, that's perfect. Well, my, that's how I leave for shows. <laughs> just screaming no and running. Yeah, screaming no and running. That's usually how we start our morning show. Yeah. Screaming no and running away. Yeah. 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 To it. Oh, oh. we're on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Okay, so when and where one last time? Uh, it is. Oh man, it's uh, 730 at the Crystal, which is on South Higgins, a uh, great spot behind the Silk Road restaurant, mm -hmm. and I will be there, uh, 45 right. minutes of entertainment. And people can look you up on Facebook? People can look you up, and this is a good show for anyone that knows a man, mm -hmm. or uh, knows is a, a man? woman. Is a man? <laughs> knows <laughs> a woman or is a man? Yes. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you for having Anything me. Anything else before we let you go? I'm very happy to be in Missoula. What a great community. Super and fun. I heard somebody say it's the Portland of Montana, and well, I really kind of agree with it's that. Hilarious. It's like uh, the <laughs> only place in Montana that most Montanans think that Missoula is actually not part of Montana. It's, it's true. Like, it's, it's like... You know, like how Venice is like uh, the Paris of Italy without the French. Right. Missoula is like the best Montana experience without the Montanans. It's very true. That's hilarious. Monta Missoula is like 15 minutes away from Montana. Yeah. People always say that. That is so yeah. interesting. But it, it's very, yeah, we've got lots of art but and music. But if you're anywhere culture. else in Montana, you're like, oh, Montana. Yeah. 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 Well, my, my big goal is just to be able to go back to Canada and say, I'm big in Montana. Yeah, you <laughs> should. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I'm a big failure, I just want to go back and go say, I'm big in Montana. <laughs> big some way. Yeah, yeah, big some way. <laughs> this will be big. Thank you very much, Joe. Thank you, thank you very much. We'll be right back with the rest of our show after this. It's important to remember your essentials, like bear spray and knowing how to use it. Liam, where's my bear spray? Uh, I put it in the bottom of your pack. I didn't mean... How am I supposed to get it quickly? When adventuring in bear country, remember, bring bear spray and know how to use it. Hike in groups, make noise, and don't run. Be bear aware. Operator 901, where's the emergency? 127, bring there. Okay, what's going on there? I'd like to order a pizza for delivery. Ma'am, you've reached 911. This is an emergency yeah, line. Uh, large with half pepperoni, half mushroom. Um, you know you've called 911. This is an emergency you line. Know how long it'll be? Okay, ma'am, is everything okay over there? Do you have an emergency or not? Yes. And you're unable to talk because... Right, right. Okay, is there someone in the room with you? Just say yes or no. Yes. Okay, um, it looks like I have an officer about a mile from your location. Are there any weapons in your house? No. Can you stay on the phone with me? No. Uh, see you soon. Thank you. Hi, you guys. We are back. Now we've got some community events for your Friday. As always, I like to do children's activities for the day to keep your little ones organized and kept busy. And then I like to do music in the afternoon and evenings for the parents to get, you know, let loose, have some fun. So starting at 9.30 a.m. over at Mismo Gymnastics is their family fun time. It's an open gym for ages walking to 12 years. Over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got a couple activities. Tiny Tales, it starts at 10.30. This is for babies ages birth through three years. They sing songs, learn a finger play, hear nursery rhymes and stories. And then Family Story Time is a bit of an older crowd. Starts at 10.30 as well. And it's a themed story time on the dragon rug, which may include songs and an art activity. Over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got Mandarin starters. So from uh, starting at 11, they're going to be teaching the little ones basic Mandarin. It's pretty sweet. At Spectrum Discovery Area, it's free admission all day long. Their discovery bench is Squishy Circuits and Makey Makey. Does that sounds weird? I don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's fun. Over in Missoula Public Library, we've got a couple more things going on today. They always have wonderful activities happening. We have our watercolor painting class in the Makerspace starting at noon. Uh, this is open to those ages 18 and up. You can call 721-2665, and it uh, should be done by Rob P., our homeboy, from the Witness Protection Program, which I'm still waiting a call from him to be like, I'm not in the Witness Protection Program. What do you guys say? It totally is. <laughs> yeah. We all know it, Rob. He is totally in the Witness Protection Agency. Yeah. That's why he only has Rob P. There's no real last name. I just need to find the mob that's looking for him. Yeah. And then I can get, you know, finder's fee. Rob's mob. Rob's mob. <laughs> That'd be a cool band name. <laughs> <laughs> We're Rob's mob. <laughs> it sounds like Ron's, Rob's mom. Rob's mom. <laughs> I'm looking for you. <laughs> I have a hit out for you. <laughs> Come on, Rob. <laughs> now, now listen here. <laughs> like they have to take a breath always when they're yelling at the kid. <laughs> You're terrible. Anyways. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> Over at the Missoula Public Library, we've got teeners, teen writers group that starts at 3.30. It's for teens who need some inspiration and or feedback. 
Spider feeding is happening over at the Missoula Butterfly House and Insectarium. They're feeding Rosie the Chilean rosehair tarantula starting at 4. So you can watch the live feeding and learn about spiders feeding and hunting habits. And now we have some music for the evening. There's an Irish music session at the Union Club at 6. Andre Floyd is playing Ten Spood Vineyard and Winery, also at 6. Uh, so they at the Badlander, the Palace, They uh, last weekend and this weekend, they're honoring the life of the former owner of the Badlander. Um, it was, I think it was a couple years ago, mm -hmm. he disappeared and died. And I don't know if it's like they, I don't really know. It was in much. Seattle. There was yeah. a huge story. Um, I um, remember that, but I don't know if they like, just well, he he. It was late last night. It, it was late one night in Seattle. Yeah. He was downtown, mm -hmm. and then they fished his body out of the. Uh, and was that recently that they did that? That was like five years okay, ago. Okay, that's what I thought. So that was five years ago. So then last week and this weekend, they're honoring him yeah. with a bunch of shows. And I think how it's pronounced is Saudade or Saudade. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but um, that's happening at the Badland in the Palace. It is going to be 20 bucks per night or $40 for all weekend. Mm. And so Saturday, Friday night, they're playing Lee Fields and the Expressions as well as Red Fang is going to be playing at the Badland in Palace. Mm. Yeah. And so uh, we've got some more music over at the VFW Medicine Cabinet. It's their last show they'll be playing. The Two Tens and Easter Island will also be playing. That'll be at nine o'clock. Ancient Forest is also going to be playing at the VFW. Uh, that'll be at 9.30. So you'll hear from Medicine Cabinet, the Two Tens, Easter Island, and Ancient Forest. And one of my favorite local performers, Joan Zen, will be at the Union Club at 9.30 tonight. And she, she's awesome. She wails. She's a good gal to rock around to. Uh, Blue Collar will be playing at Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Over Stage 112, we've got Zigzags, Falling, and Canyon. All three of those different bands, and they'll be playing uh, at Stage 112 at 10. And so I've got performances for your Friday for Finch Fe for Fringe Fest. You can't, you have to say it like five times fast. Yeah. <laughs> Friday performances, Fringe Fest. So at starting at noon on the Clark Fork River over in Alberton Gorge, they're having their Fringe Float sing-along. Um, and so you have to go to their website and you have to kind of register. Their website is zootownfringe.org. This is the page that I'm on. And I believe that you can just like click on here and then it should show you and tell you how to register for that. So they're going to gather at the Big Dipper ice cream. Um, and so it'll depart at 1 p.m. for East Missoula. Float is an hour and a half. Um, and the shuttle fee is only $3. And so, let's see, the takeout will be at the Fringe Lounge under the Higgins Street Bridge at the Boone and Crockett parking lot. Yeah, so that starts at noon today. So if you guys are interested in that, you can uh, pop down there. They've got um, other things happening. Um, okay, so Woodbind is a band. They'll be playing music at Big Dipper at noon when they start to get all ready to put out for the floating. Um, and then at 5 o'clock is a sordid affair, a bureaucratic adventure. We heard from Drea and Eric earlier this week, so that'll be their show that's going to be performing tonight at 5. Uh, they're put on by Free Cycles. There'll be a fringe costume bike ride with Free Cycles Missoula that starts at 5. Uh, also at 5 o'clock over at Karis Park is Fringe Lounge Sessions. That'll be a bunch of different bands. Uh, we'll be filming that as well. And then at 6.30, we just heard from these ladies, A Sentence is Inside Itself. That'll be at the Crystal Theater. Uh, no Free Fronts, we heard from uh, Sean Kirkpatrick earlier this week. That's his show. That'll be at the Crystal Theater at 8.30. And then Gingers on Ice, they're at 10 o'clock, also at the Crystal. We have not heard from them, but they're a comedy duo of their brothers, and they've been around Missoula for a while. They've been doing performance and stand-up for a while. And I just saw one of their shows last night, and they were actually very, very funny. I was surprised. A little cheeky, a little, I don't know, they're dudes, but they're funny. Um, and then the last event for Friday for Fringe Fest is What I Learned from Porn, and that's going to be at the Crystal Theater at 11 o'clock. So that's what's going on in your community for Fringe Fest and other events. Up next, we have Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. Well, I wanted to start off by saying um, our guest on Musical Notes today, he um, has one of the longest marriages of any celebrity in American history. Wow, for good for him. Yeah, his marriage lasted 74 and a half years to the same woman. Isn't that amazing? That's really amazing. He was amazing. blessed with five children, seven grandchildren, and 15 great-grandchildren. Oh, that is so mind-boggling. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's how I wanted to start this musical notes off. Now, getting back to our guest, 
Every weekday afternoon from 1952 to 1970, millions of people across America tuned in to CBS for our guest on a show called House Party. Each show ended with our guest talking to children, and over the years he's interviewed perhaps 20,000 children. They came from all different backgrounds and shapes and sizes, but all of these children had one thing in common. They all said the darndest thing. <laughs> <laughs> so our guest, who is known as the Pied Piper of TV and radio, the people are funny men. We're talking about Gordon Arthur Kelly, Arthur Gordon Linkletter, known to the world as Art Linkletter. And there he is, the one and only. <laughs> and you can look at that look and see he's got that Pied Piper look that can draw <laughs> children in. He was just such a delightful character, such a fun character. Art Linkletter was an American-born, um, uh, I'm sorry, a Canadian-born American radio and television personality. Now, he hosted House Party on CBS for 25 years, and he had another show called People Are Funny on NBC Radio and television for 19 years. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. This man spent the majority of his career interviewing children and having fun. And now we're going to catch him in action. We got a little video here. Let's show that. Now you won't be able to hear the sound, but he is interviewing this little girl and he asked her about movie stars. And uh, what do movie stars do? Movie stars have movie star lunch. They have movie star cars. They do movie star jobs. And at the end of this little girl saying movie star, she says, movie stars sleep together. <laughs> <laughs> now, of course, there's no way that that little girl could know the impact of that. But it was just the innocency of these children. And look at his reaction on his face. <laughs> 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 I, and it just shocked him and, and the whole audience was busting out laughing here now in this clip here with this little boy oh I'm sorry this little boy here um, he's um, saying you're an American huh and the little boy says yeah I'm an American I'm proud to be an American and so Art says to the little boy what do Americans do where are they from and he says American Americans are anybody that lives in California so <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh oh, having a little problem here. Oh, ASAP got a phone call. Yeah, and finally, <laughs> this little boy right here, he wants to be a pilot. Art Linkletter says, "What happens if the plane falls out of the sky?" The little boy says, "Our Father, which art in heaven." <laughs> <laughs> so your audience could look up all these old house party episodes here and of course Bill Cosby was hosting that but that's another story but anyway um, you can watch all of these delightful performances by Art Linkletter and my final words about him he received a Lifetime Achievement Award the Daytime Emmy Award in 2003 he was inducted into the National Speakers Association's Hall of Fame he received honorary degrees from several universities, including his alma mater, which was San Diego State University, Pepperdine University, and University of Prince Edward Island. Also in 2005, at the age of 93, he opened the happiest homecoming on Earth celebrations for the 50th anniversary, anniversary of Disneyland. He also did the commentary in 1955 when that first opened, when Disneyland first opened, and they named him a Disney legend. And I will quit on that note. Nice. Hey, Thank you very much, Asa. Sure. That's pretty interesting. Thank you. And so when did he die? We lost him in 2010 at the age of 97. Ooh, sounds like he had a good career. He did. He good had life. a fun life, and he just spent the majority of his career entertaining children and the audiences and doing radio broadcasts. Nice. Well, thank you very much, Asa. Sure. That was well, Musical notes with Asaph and I. Well, we have an art clip for you guys. Uh, it, it, this one is featuring the history of the Missoula Mercantile, one of the very first businesses that um, started here in Missoula in the very in the 1800s. So uh, check it out, and when we come back, we'll have more events with Noel.
Hi guys, we are back. All right, that was a really cool art clip. Don't you guys agree? I thought that was super neat. So historical, mu historical <laughs> museum of Fort Missoula, <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so now I've got some activities going on on Saturday. And so this is stuff that you can guys can do outside and then um, art and music as well as Fringe Fest stuff. So starting at 7.45 a.m., they're gonna meet at 7.45 a.m. over the UM's Adams Center parking lot in Northwest Corner. As an Audubon trip, they're doing a Shoreboards Target. So let's see. So they're gonna go to Smurf and Stone Mill near Frenchtown to lurk for migrating shorebirds. Uh, meet at the Northwest Corner of the UM Adams Center parking lot at 7.45, 7.50, or at the main gate at the old plant site at 8.30 a.m. Bring lunch, it'll be all day. We have our farmers markets. Farmers market is at the is at the Red X's at eight. Uh, the People's Market is on Pine Street, uh, right outside of Jimmy John's, as well as outside of the Thomas Mar Bar at nine. And the Clark Fork Market is down at Karis Park at eight a.m. Pet Fest is happening at the Adams Center this weekend at 9 a.m. So it's pet rescue organizations and local shelters from Western Montana. Um, so this is their fundraising. They ask that you bring a bag of good new dog food to give back. And you can also uh, check out some pets. You can adopt some pets and just go and support them. This next event it sounds super fun. This is Outdoor Magic with Mono Prince at the Missoula Art Museum at 10 a.m. This is put on by Bev Beck Glukert. It starts from 10 to 1. It's $28 if you're a member, $30 if you're not. If you still want to register, you can call 728-0447. And so what it is, is they're going to outside to create small monotypes. Monotype is an immediate process and which artists capture an outdoor scene by revealing the lights and darks of what it is seen. So Bev will teach you how to do that. You'll be able to make your own monoprint and you'll just have a great time. 10 to 1, couple hours on Saturday. The Living Art of Montana, they're located at 725 West Alder Street in Suite 17. They have a Making Your Own Mandala class. It starts at 10.30. Uh, this is facilitated by Beth Jaffe. She uses mixed media and drawing techniques to create personal mandalas. So this is offered free of charge to adults 18 dealing with illness or loss. No experience necessary. For any questions, call 549-5329. Over at the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, they've got a kids event starting at 11. From 11 to 1, they're going to shoot a bow, learn how to call elk, use laser shot, and explore the visitor center. Over in Phillipsburg, in their outdoor amphitheater, they've got an Aber Day reunion concert too. So if you guys don't remember what the Aber Day Keggers were, the Aber Day Keggers were an event that were going on in the 1970s. It was put on by the University of Montana students to help benefit the library. And so what this was, was a fundraiser for the library. They got hundreds of kegs put on by Highlander Brewing Company, and then they would enlist a bunch of different bands to come down, and you pay about five bucks, and just have a grand old time listening to music and drinking lots of beer. And so the money would go back to the library and that happened from like 1973 72 until like almost to the 1980s so a good eight or nine years um, and so this is their reunion concert this is out in Phillipsburg it starts at noon and so it looks like they are going to be having let's see they're gonna be fishing featuring the official Mission Mountain Wood Band and the Mission Mountain Wood Band was the was the main house band that was there at every single Aber Day Kegger concert. And so they'll be there, the Little Smokies will be playing, and the Big Sky Mud Flaps. Um, and then the Phillipsburg Rotary, Rotary Club will be hosting the event in the amphitheater. So it looks like it's $35 for adults, $15 for seven to 12 year olds, and free for six and under um, with, yeah, free for yeah. six and under. I, I was just wondering, um, is this year going to the library? <laughs> You know, I don't know. I it seems like they no just want to have idea. a party. I think that it might be. It says, oh yeah, so it says that this, is, I'll read you guys what it says. So it says, it'll host the event in Phillipsburg Outdoor Amphitheater in partnership with the University of Montana Alumni Association and Missoula Liquid Assets Corporation. Um, and so I would think that it will go back, some of the proceeds will go back to University of Montana. Mm -hmm. But the Aberdeen Keggers was such a huge event and such a big fundraising thing that they, it only makes sense that they would want to do reunions. Like, the, they made like, seriously like six million dollars for the library over the years that they did this. Wow. Yeah, millions of dollars. Yeah, so I just think it's kind of nice. I first saw the documentary on it on PBS. Well, with all these like brew fests and this fest mm -hmm. and that fest and hemp fest and all that stuff, 
they really need to start maybe like um, using a lot of the money that they make and putting it towards good causes and I good agree. programs. I totally agree. And I think that that I think that like with the beer fest, the brew fest, some of them go to like Missoula. You know, the Missoula Downtown Association will put on some of them. And then, but as far as um, Hemp Fest, I don't really know who that benefits either. I've heard that that is going to be in Lolo this year and not in Missoula. So I don't really know. Oh, Hemp Fest is going to be Lolo? I heard oh. that, but because I saw... Oh, you mean like Lolo Hot Springs? Yeah, like Lolo area. Hot Springs. Yeah, because I saw... That's a good venue for it. Yeah, I saw a sign for that were selling Hemp Fest tickets, and I don't know if you like selling Hemp Fest vendor stuff. But yeah, that'll be in Lolo Hot Springs, I think. But yeah. don't quote me on that. I'll let you guys know when I find out more. Yeah. But yeah, it'll I come up uh, pretty soon. It's yeah. it's happening. Um, usually in September. It usually happens in September, so we'll get yeah. more information on that. Yeah, yeah. but um, I've got a couple more events going on. So we've got over at the Missoula Butterfly House. They've got an activity. It's called Learning Through a Lens, Anthropod Photography, um, and so it'll be all about anthropods. Um, and then over at the Garden of 1000 Buddhas, they've got a weekly garden tour and meditation teaching. Their garden tour starts at 1 and then they have a meditation, guided meditation at 2 o'clock. It happens every Saturday. Um, and then at the Missoula Public Library, they've got an altered books for everyone. This is an all ages event where they take discarded books and turn them into art. Um, and then we've got some music, Revolution with G, Green, J, Boog, Stick Figure, and Through the Roots is going to be playing out at Big Side Brewing Company at 6. Bass is Covered will be playing at Ten Spoon Vineyard Winery at 6. Alan Smith will be playing at Imagination Brewing Company at 6. And the Montana Conservations event is going to be at Frenchtown Pond State Park at 8 o'clock. And so Sally Thompson's is going to be talking about a Jesuit widow into Western Montana life in the 1840s and 1850s. It's a humanities Montana talk. Yeah. Um, and then they've got a movie cult at the Roxy. Poltergeist is going to be playing at 9. And then Mendelssohn and New Old Future will be playing at Monks, Monks at 9 o'clock. They have got another Saudade. Reverend Slinky and Lila McQueen will be playing at the Bad Laner and the Palace at 9. Fruit Bats will be at the Top Hat Lounge at 9. Absolutely, with Chris Moon at the Bad Laner at 9. Holy Lands, TCW, and Possible Girls and Comedians will be at the VFW at 9. Double Down Band at the Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. TBA.04 at the Real Lounge at 10. Um, and then I had some Zootown, I also have Zootown Fringe music, or Zootown Fringe events, but I see that we're running out of time. So if you guys want to find out more information about what's going on at the Zootown Fringe, just go to ZootownFringe.org um, and, ooh, this is the website, and you guys can just go right here. You can click on their calendar. The calendar is up to date. And so you just click on the 20th, and that's on a Saturday, and that'll show you everything that you want to do. Uh, you can also find out more about the events I talked about on MissoulaEvents.net. That's usually where I get all of my events. And then I know Scott City has some city council. Do you want to do that real quick? I, well, I said I, uh, oh. I, I kind of briefly went over, oh. but I do have a video Great, I, let's show for, for y'all. And okay. it's from the Boys and Girls Club, because today is the very last day the Boys and Girls Club are going to stop by MCAT. Okay. So we made a horror film on uh, Tuesday, or, oh no, wait, we made it last week. And uh, the kids got a good kick out of it, and the movie's called Basically Scary. So, Well, why don't we show this video and then end our show after that? Yeah. So then everyone hears a video, and then instead of just coming back to us, we're just going to end it. Does oh, okay. okay. So let's just do some social networking first. Okay. Find out more information, okay. wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. You can like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow... MCAT on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information, check us out at MCAT.org. Thank you all again to all of our guests on today, and you guys check out Zoom. Town Fringe Fest today and tomorrow, the last days. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. ASAP Adonai is on piano. Here's a video with the Boys and Girls Club. Oh. ASAP Adonai on piano. Oh, and then he'll lead into the video. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> I get the feeling you don't like me. Get the tickets ready. I'm working on it, okay? Be patient. 
I don't know how to work a computer, but if I did. You guys, you guys! There's a creepy monster. He has purple hair and it's really fat. Gross, it's fat. Yes, but it's mostly scary. Got the tickets, what's yeah. going on? Yay! What's going on? Oh, she just saw a fat clown thing. It's not just a fat clown thing. It was scary and it was skipping down the hall. Sometimes I wonder why I invite you guys to my parties. Is this the clown that you saw? Scary, yes, but that's not the clown I saw. This is my house. Be quiet or you guys are all leaving. Nice prank. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That wasn't funny. It was kind of really funny. <laughs> Little bitch. But I thought you were this creepy clown that almost attacked me out there. Clown? What? You sound like an insane person. I'm not kidding. It almost attacked me. I had to run. And it's still out there. There's all of us and one of it. We can handle it. Let's go, guys. Wait, 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 wait. I don't think you should be going out there. I think Why? So. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's kind of we, scary. Watch out. We can do this. Rest in peace, people. Come on. You think you can do it? What do you need now? What are you now? doing? You shouldn't come out here. It's gonna come and get us. I know it's gonna come from there, or maybe in that closet, or down there. I can. I whip. need. I can whip him to death with this if I need that to. That won't work. Really? I could choke you right now if I wanted to. You're crazy, yeah. girl. You need to calm down. You guys are crazy. Come on, but I'm going back. Okay, okay so long. Did you guys hear that? No, no, no. no. Crazy. Oh, no, you're crazy, girl. Crazy. No, I'm not. Crazy, I What are we doing? Are <laughs> Come on, girl. No, wait. You trying to get revenge? We yeah, yeah, girl. You trying to get revenge? Right? Happen. Girl. 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 like that. Just I'm not lying. Crazy. Yeah. No, no, I see you, Brad. Ah! 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 Run! What should I do with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. They got away. I wanted to play a little longer. Are you in here? Guys, where are you? Hello. A girl in Tutu played with me, but she didn't stay so long. <gasps> uh, leave me alone. That's not nice. I just want to play. <laughs> stay away from me. I don't want to play. Does it matter? <laughs> ha, 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 ha. I should go help Rachel. No, we need you. We should get out of here. I agree, let's go. Oh, I love hide and seek. There's a phone! I mean, hello? Hello? 911, what is your emergency? We're being attacked by a crazy. A, I mean, not a crazy, but an extremely scary clown. Yes. Where is your location? 4983 Pancake Avenue in our friend Rachel's mansion. Where is your location in the building? Oh, my exact location? Well, I guess I'm in an office. Ha 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 ha! Oh no! What? It's the clown! Run! Look! George! George! Are you okay?
man, that was a close was... one. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Ha! <laughs>